Welcome back everybody. In this video we're going to be checking out the all new Acosco full color night vision goggles. This device is something I'm super excited to test out and try. It uses uh, an AI technology to turn uh, ultra low light scenarios into full color images. Uh, kind of like a scope that I reviewed not too long ago. It's pretty incredible technology. This device captures the full spectrum of night. It's uh, on the side here it says it's got full color AI technology up to 500 meters of clarity. It shoots video or pictures in 4K and 2K resolution up to four hours of use time. So let's go ahead and open this up and see what comes packaged in here. So right away it comes in a nice uh, kind of hard case, carrying, carrying case, hard back carrying case uh, with two zippers. We'll go ahead and undo that. The case has hooks on it too to hook up a lanyard or a strap if you wanted to. So you go ahead and pop it open and right here is a Seymour device and then let's see what all comes in the zipper on top here. You have your user's manual, you've got your lanyard or strap, you've got lens cleaning cloth, you've got your USB type C charging port and then right here you've got two batteries Let's see what size they are. They're uh, 3250 mAh 12.35 WH 3.8 volt batteries and you have two of them. Okay so let's pull the device out of there. So the first thing you notice is this compact size. It's a pretty small unit which uh, would actually work pretty nice for mounting this to uh, a helmet of some sort. You can see it's got a mount right here that you can hook it up so it's you could uh, have this right in front of your eyes and flip up over top of your ACH or helmet or whatever whatever type of hat you're wearing. Uh, on the edges here it has a place that you can hook up your lanyard that it comes with. Uh, it's got your buttons, rubber buttons on top. It's kind of a hard plastic on the outside and then right here where your eyes are is kind of a, a nice foldable or, or uh, a rubber that caves in kind of with uh, the shape of your face if you put it up to it. And then in the front are your lenses. This is your focus. Uh, you can just twist this to focus for however far the object is away that you're watching. On the back here is where your USB port goes in and your SD card. It takes up to a 512 uh, gigabyte micro SD card. It does not come with this. You have to get one yourself. Uh, right here is where your battery goes in. So let's go ahead and stick a battery in there. Battery goes in just like this. And then you pop that down. And then to turn on the device, you have right here on the top, you have your power button, you have your zoom and your IR up up and down, excuse me, your mode button, your menu button, and then your shot button. Now your mode button would be to go from IR to uh, color images and uh, to flip back and forth depending on the situation you were in. So if this is totally pitch black, you would want to be in IR mode, which you can actually manipulate from level 1 to level 7, uh, depending on how bright you want the IR to be, or it really would come down to how far the object is away that you're looking at. The farther away in the middle of the night, you'd want uh, a higher IR level, and if it's right here close, a lower IR level. So let's go ahead and turn the device on. And uh, I want to go through some of the settings within the device here. So you're just going to press the power button and the screen will turn on. Okay, so you can see that the screen is on there. So we're looking through the device right now and I want to show you some of the different uh, settings on here. So in order to zoom in, oh that's nice, these buttons light up when you hit them. To zoom in, 
you're just going to hit this uh, plus button and you'll zoom right in as you guys can see. We'll zoom back out so it's focused. Now we'll zoom into the rocks and then we'll try to focus it right there. We'll zoom back out. In order to focus, you're just going to twist this back and forth, and that's your fine focus for whatever distance you want to look at. And then we'll go ahead and hit the menu button, and then you can see the different menu options, and we'll go through all the different menu options. You have video resolution, there's uh, two different settings you can utilize in there. You have 38... 40 by 2160 and 2688 by 1520. We're going to go back to the menu and then we'll go down. Capture duration one minute and you can uh, change that setting to however you want. Loop video overwriting, I have that turned on so like when the camera is full it'll just start overwriting all the old footage. Uh, you can actually connect this through Bluetooth to your iPhone and you can you'll see the, what the device is seeing through your phone and manipulate some of the settings through the through the app if you wanted to I have the audio turned off right now uh, we can turn that on okay so we have the audio on brightness is at medium button light is on screen off time constant when you hit the button, you can hear it ding, so you that's the volume medium. Auto shutdown. We have the compass off. Uh, I liked it off more than on. And then when you first put your SD card in, you always want to format it immediately. Set your date and time. And then we'll go back to the main screen. And I want to show you uh, changing the mode. So we'll go to IR mode. And just like that, we're in uh, IR. And then you have the different levels by holding down IR2, IR3, IR4, IR5. Now, it doesn't really matter to you guys right now because it's daylight. But tonight when it's dark, I'll show you that. We'll go back to the color mode, just like that. And in order to start recording, you just hit shot. And you'll see that it's recording in the top of the screen there. So that's just a quick uh, once over of the settings and how the device works, the Seymour night vision uh, goggles. Now what we'll do is wait till it gets dark and I'm going to show you the video, you know, right when it gets dark and show you how well this uh, lights up, you know, everything in the backyard in full color, which is pretty incredible technology. And I'm going to tell you guys about the technology as I show you uh, when it gets lighter out or darker out later tonight. And I'll talk to you about it as I'm showing you. So right here is right before it gets totally dark, right at dusk, and I wanted to show you guys looking through the device and how bright it is looking out across the field below the house. So that's without IR, that's just the full color mode. That's the AI technology, the sensor inside that's bringing any relevant light in the atmosphere and uh, adding it to the screen so you can see as if it was daylight. So I was really impressed with this feature here. Uh, I'll show you the IR in a little bit and how well that works as well. But so far I'm really impressed with how bright and easy, easily you can see through the device when it's pretty darn dark out. So this device uses AI ISP technology which combines artificial intelligence algorithms with image signal processing, ISP. These techniques are used to enhance image and video quality in low light or nearly dark conditions as you guys can see right here. Uh, I'm shooting right before it's pitch black out and you can see how this device uses those technologies to gather any light in the atmosphere and light up the screen even in near dark, totally dark conditions. It's a pretty incredible technology and that's what sets this 
device apart from other devices that are similar. Uh, this device, you know, literally adds daylight to darkness through the screen in front of you. As you guys can see, I, I'm looking out of the camera and you really can't see anything. Now you put the device up and you can see as if it's totally light out. Uh, that's really incredible and why this device is, uh, you know, far beyond other devices in the same field. So now we're going to look through the device when it's pitch black out. This is later on that evening when there's absolutely no radiant light in the atmosphere. And you can see this is the color mode. And, uh, you know, it's trying to see as best as you can. And you can see objects out there uh, through the device. I'm going to show you zoomed in a little bit here so you can get a better look at it. But I'm going to go ahead and turn the IR on here in a second so you can see what the device looks like with IR. So that's level one IR right there. And you can see the IR beam uh, centered in the middle of the screen there. So with the IR you can see much better. You can make out objects and stuff. That's all the way up to level five, six, right there. And that's level seven. And you can actually, a deer just came out in the field right there that I'm going to go ahead and take a close look at with a device. And I mean, you can easily see that there's a deer walking across the base of the field right there. I zoom right in on it. When you zoom way in, your uh, clarity kind of goes it gets really pixelated uh, but you can certainly tell that there's an object going through the screen and that it's a deer uh, when you, I'll show you when I zoom back out it gets much more clear you can see the shine off the deer's eyes when it's looking at you right there with the so IR right well. here is actual video off the Seymour device this is off the mini SD card that was within the device, and you can see that it's obviously much clearer than looking through the screen with my other camera. Uh, you can make out that there's two deer out there, and those deer, where, where they are, is probably 240 yards from me out in the field right there. You can see I'm uh, zooming in a little bit, and you can make out that, that they're both bucks at that distance through this device, which is pretty darn good. This is used in the IR aspect. You can see the IR beam that's lighting lighting things up quite a bit more than uh, it would be just on the normal color screen. But I was pretty impressed with, with that. So I wanted to show you as well some daylight footage from the device and this is out looking across the road there's actually a deer out in the goldenrod there and that's zooming all the way in and as I said it gets kind of pixelated when you zoom way in like that but you can obviously tell that it's a deer and uh, when I zoom back out here it gets pretty clear and the picture gets much better as you as, as long as you stay zoomed out and you keep your device uh, focused. Like right there, it's much easier to make out the deer and just a clearer image zoomed out. So in this next image is right before dark. Uh, this is dusk when it was pretty darn dark out. And you can see that the device is working really well and generating as much light as it possibly can to see those deer running across the top of the field. That's zooming way in with the device. Uh, it's actually too dark to really be able to see with the naked eye at this point. But obviously through the Seymour Acosco night vision goggles, you can see the deer plain as day up through the field. And that's me turning it into IR mode. I wanted to look, see what they look like uh, using the IR mode at that point. And uh, pretty easily able to see that there are deer up there. And that's at 400 plus yards away. These Night vision goggles utilize the AI ISP technology to create the low light, full color images that you see. With this device, you can clearly see images out to 1,640 feet. With conventional night vision goggles, uh, they usually offer a range of 
328 to 656 feet. You know, this this in particular device can see much further than that and be able to make out deer or any other type of animals at a much further distance. I had previously mentioned that you could hook this up to an app. The app is called AURA and that way you can monitor real time what you're seeing through the device on your smartphone. Uh, it's pretty cool that you can actually set this device up and just monitor it through your phone. You don't even have to, you have to be within Wi-Fi or Bluetooth distance of the device in your phone. Uh, but that's a pretty cool thing that they added to this pair of goggles. So this device comes with two 3200 mAh batteries, which each one can last about four hours. So in total, you have eight hours of use out of those two batteries combined. There's multiple different uses for a device like this. You know, if you're a predator hunter where you're trying to scan fields at dawn or dusk or in the middle of the night using the IR, this would be a great device for you. Or if you're some type of uh, security officer of some sort, or you're pulling surveillance on something and you want to see it at night, uh, if you're camping, there's multiple different uses that this would be, you know, this device would be handy for you. If you guys are interested in this, I'm going to put a link in the description below. Feel free to check it out. If you have any questions, feel free to comment in the comment section below and I'll answer your questions for you. Appreciate everybody watching. Hopefully everybody has a good day. Have a good one.